Let's unbox and set up the 8-bit Do media remote for Xbox Series S, X and Xbox One, but this one looks perfect for the Series S as it is in pure white, just like the console. So what do we get? It's a nice little box here. This will be ideal if you watch a lot of YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, whatever, and you use your controller and you're fed up hitting the controller and accidentally fast forwarding or skipping through your programs this might be exactly what you're after. As you can see here, it looks fantastic. We have got a little instruction manual, get rid of that. And let's get this out of here. And it says here, low battery, backlight starts to blink rapidly. That is nice to know. And oh, we've got some batteries as well, which is amazing. Don't usually get that, but I like that. That gets a thumbs up from me. So here is the controller itself. As you can see, it is pure white, which goes perfectly with the Xbox Series S console and is a nice size. It is not a huge controller, which is fantastic. And just to compare, there is the Xbox Series S controller next to it. Make sure you get the batteries in the right way, just like so. And then set the back plate on top and slide it down. And there we go, we should be ready to rock. One thing that's not coming through is it's actually backlit, so each one of these buttons lights up and it just lights up automatically when you move the remote and then it dims after five seconds of inactivity, which is pretty amazing. You've got your media buttons down here for play, pause, stop, and you can control the volume and your Xbox as well. So let's flip on over to the Xbox right now. Now this is super simple to set up. As soon as you have the batteries in, just point it at your Xbox and it will work. So we'll press the X home button here, boom, and our dashboard pops out. But that is what you really need to remember is it is not a Wi-Fi controller or anything like that. So you must point it at your console because it is using infrared. It's like an old school remote in that respect. But it's pretty good once you have it pointed at it, it works perfectly. You can see we can go down to YouTube. You can then browse your videos, all that good stuff. Pretty freaking awesome. And then you can just press the home button again and the center button is selecting things and you go back home. It is really, really simple to use. You can also use the media remote buttons at the bottom. If we click on this video here, we've got play and pause. The Guardian calls the Pixel 6. So the buttons down the very bottom here. We will use the media buttons here. We will try and fast forward a little bit by pressing that button. And you can see there, it just skips for us. You can just press it and you'll skip along the timeline and then press the play button and you will play at that point. Pretty freaking cool. And then we can press stop and it just takes us back to the YouTube homepage. Very, very cool and a very, very simple and good looking remote. I really, really recommend this. Make sure if you want to check it out, you click on my affiliate link down below in the description to get this for a great price and also to support the channel. This will cost you less than 20 pounds or $20. It is a bargain if you watch a lot of content. And it is a very well built controller. It feels very sturdy. It's not going to fall apart. There's no rattly bits. It literally is a really, really sturdy piece of kit. Like most 8-bit dough controllers are. And if you'd like to see an awesome 8-bit dough control pad which you can actually play games with as unfortunately you cannot play dark souls with this this is only for media you cannot play games with it check out the card on screen to see that awesome 8-bit dope pro 2 controller